Andrew, right? Say, movie crew, I was just wondering about shooting The Revenant in natural lighting. Is there a specific reason for this or a look that this will give? Or was it simply done for, publis for publicity to up the legitimacy of the movie just so they can say that they did it? What are your thoughts? I think it's a stylistic choice by uh, the director Inaratu and the DP uh, Emmanuel Lubetsky. I think they just wanted to make it look realistic, you know? Uh, sometimes certain things, especially... On television, some things are lit a certain way where it just looks so lit. Like, you know, you can feel like the light stands there, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, obviously, on this show, you know, we know this, is, this isn't this is a narrative. So we just have the lights in here and we can make sure everyone can see us. Um, yeah, I, 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 they're using the new uh, RE65 camera, which is like the RE Alexa, which is used on a lot of movies and most television. Mm -hmm. Game it. of Thrones. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a new uh, format and it's like high resolution. And... They're still going to use some of the techniques like bounce boards, yeah. uh, negative fill, diffusion, all mm -hmm. that stuff. So it's not like it's going to be totally just the sunlight. And, mm -hmm. and, and this is a point where it's like, when, you know, people argue about digital and film. It's like in, in this case, they had to go digital because uh, film can't pick up a lot of the like lower light situations that they're going to shoot in this movie. And, and digital does that a lot better. Mm -hmm. uh, Roth, what do you think? Is it a gimmick that they're doing this no. or uh, no. for the movie? No, I think, yeah, it's a stylistic choice i don't see it as a gimmick at all barry Lin there's been a few movies that used natural light like very famously um barry linden mm -hmm. um i think it was candlelight candlelight he, he, um, he used that yeah. uh um whatchamacallit it was like a, a space uh, mm -hmm. like nasa like yeah. telescope lens or something in like order that. to do it made it very difficult for for the crew um very beautiful and yeah. um, my understanding what i was hearing about from the set was that it was just super important to him that it felt authentic that the actors felt like they were authentically in this experience and even he wanted the crew to feel as authentically as they were in this experience as possible like he just i think he wanted to bring that sense of authenticity to the movie to heighten the peril that mm -hmm. they're in um if you feel like you're watching a movie it can take you out of it and there are certain things that when things are lit mm -hmm. um artificially it doesn't feel natural. Mm -hmm. So uh, did he have to do it? Nope, but uh, he did, and I can't wait to see what he did because that is he is such a talented cinematographer yeah. that um, I just think it's going to be exciting. I think it's going to fit perfectly because I know he wanted the film to be chaotic, and I believe they're shooting north of Calgary somewhere. Mm -hmm. I remember he was saying in an interview, I think it was with Cinema Blend, that he had to, by the time they went there and then got back, you know, I guess wherever their hotels or wherever they're staying, they, they'd already lost 40% of the day. That's how far they were. He said some of the areas that they've never been touched by by human hands before. He wanted to be that isolated. He said he wanted to have short shots, like short sequences, like we shoot a little bit here and then a little bit here. It was never like to meant to be shoot like this long day shoot. So, I mean, it looks chaotic. I think it's going to be a chaotic. And then I think, Roth, I can't remember when you were in the UK interviewing Ridley Scott. I don't know if you asked this question or not, but somebody asked this question about going to digital. I want to say that was one of Ridley Scott's first movies. He moved to the red. Uh -huh. And he said he saw the social network. There's this really good scene in the social network in the very beginning um, when uh, Zuckerberg is walking through Harvard. And I think Ridley saw that at the Red facility somewhere, I think, over here in California. And he said, like, did you guys, what did you guys do to that? Did you guys light it or something? I think Fincher confirmed that they didn't really light it that much. I think they just shot it. They just mm -hmm. shot him walking through Harvard campus. He's like, oh, I want to use digital now. So with this new Ari Alexa and the, new, the whole the way the lighting looks, it's going to be incredible. Like with Sicario. Mm -hmm. We all just saw, Ooh, saw, saw Sicario. Yeah. Like there was a scene when she's, uh, Emily Blunt's character, looking over Juarez, one of the, you know, Navy SEALs or Delta Squad guys is like, hey, look at this. And like, there's all this gunfire. You see the sky. I'm like, is that real? Like, they light that? Is that a lighting effect? Like, I couldn't even tell how they even shoot something like that with that l level of lighting. It doesn't mm -hmm. look like it can, it's possible. So these, what these cinematographers and directors can do is incredible. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and Lubeski, he's won the last two uh, Academy Awards for two different for di two different directors. Maybe he's going to make it a third. He's got to be getting up there and in age, isn't he? He's been there for, or he's still a fairly young guy. No, I mean, he's older. I don't know if he's yeah. super old. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's as old as Roger Deakins or okay, anything he's not like that. that. Okay. Um, yeah. Deakins needs to... Anyway, yeah. he, needs, <laughs> he, needs he needs to, needs to win. win. Yeah. Like, yeah. Deakins yeah. needs to win. Come on. Yeah. Um, but but he also won for two incredibly different techniques. Yeah. Mm. You know, what he did with Gravity was so different than what he did with Birdman, and this is going to be so different yet again. That's what's so amazing. It's not like he has such a signature, you know? Mm. Um, anyway.